It's the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament here in Salt Lake City, Utah. The 16th seed in the West Region, South Dakota State, will face the top seed Gonzaga here on Thursday afternoon. And of course, we have to mention their seeds, 16 versus 1. In the history of the NCAA Tournament, 16 seeds are a combined 0 for 128 against the top seeds. Now, obviously, it's a historic precedent, but if anything, the Jackrabbits learn from the Summit League Tournament that seeding doesn't matter. We've been able to, to play okay here these last six weeks because we haven't really worried about any of the noise on the outside. I think uh, we sat in a spot uh, six weeks ago where we were dead last in a league that only takes eight of the nine teams to the conference tournament and our guys showed unbelievable fight to come together and continue to move forward and we haven't done that because we've worried about who's in front of us. Uh, we've worried about how together we can be as a group and how we can play for each other. Uh, you carry that through our conference tournament. I don't think the seeds mattered. Uh, everybody, once you get to the postseason in the conference tournament, we told our guys we're all zero and zero, and we're starting from scratch. And whether you have an eight by your name or a one by your name, in our conference, there's so much parity that there were so many teams that had a chance to win that tournament. And now when you look forward to the NCAA tournament and you go one step further, obviously you keep hearing everybody talk about the numbers and the chances that a, at some point does a 16 seed win. And for us, our focus is, is really stayed with just our team and what we need to do. We're coming into this thing. Our guys are playing loose. Our guys are playing aggressive. We have every bit as much right to be in this tournament as any of the other 67 teams do. And we're going to come out tomorrow and play with some passion and show that. Stay tuned for more coverage from Salt Lake City up until game time on Thursday afternoon. For Jackrabbit Journal, I'm David Brown.